Hi, this is Gina with your Kingdom Sewing Minute Clinic. Today I'd like to focus on doing satin stitching. I'm working on the Baby Luck Zest here. This is a more basic mechanical machine. I've got the machine set up with my zigzag stitch with a stitch length of about 0.4 or 0.5 so we get a nice short stitch. Um, I'd like to also talk to you about here the foot. I'm going to remove my all-purpose foot and I'm going to put on my open toe foot. The reason for that is that the standard foot is rather flat on the bottom and this can get hung up on all the stitches when you're doing a satin stitch or any kind of decorative stitch where you're putting down a lot of thread. Our, our open toe foot has a groove or a tunnel on the bottom here and so it's going to ride over top of the stitches more easily. So we'll go ahead and put that on. I have a little sandwich here of my fabrics with my applique piece, my background fabric, and I'm using a tearaway stabilizer. Uh, because I'm just sewing on two pieces of fabric, the tension of the thread as it swings back and forth can cause the fabric to buckle. So we want to put um, a stabilizer on the back. I like this one because it's very crispy um, feeling and it tears away nice and clean when we're finished so it's easy to remove from your sewing. Let's see if I can bring this in so you have a better view. All right, so I'm going to set this up so that my needle is just at the outside edge of my fabric to start. Put my presser foot down and we'll go ahead and sew down this edge. This open toe foot gives me a real clear view of exactly where my needle is swinging so I can make sure I'm right at the edge of my fabric. As I come to the corner, it's important to stop with the needle and the outside edge of the fabric. So I'm going to stop right here, lift up and pivot, and then I can continue on down the next side. And that gives us a nice square corner. And again, I have a perfect view of my needle right at the outside edge of my applique fabric. Now the size of your applique is going to determine the stitch width that you might like. So let me bring this around so you can see. We've got a nice square corner on our applique there. Let me show you another option. I would challenge you, for those of you that have one of the Janome computerized machines, this is our Janome 9450 and I am going to show you the tapering stitch. They, this, this option is available on a number of the different decorative stitches. I'm going to be using it on just the standard satin stitch here. This is our tapering function. It's a little hard to see there. If we open up this window on the bottom, you'll see I have the option here to set my 45 degree angle at the beginning and I'm going to set 45 degree angle at the end. This feature in the middle is nice. I can either set in a specific length or as I sew, I can have the machine measure my applique piece. So we'll go ahead and do it that way. Again, I've removed my all-purpose foot and I've got my open toe foot on the machine so that it doesn't get hung up on the stitching. I'm going to bring over my same little sandwich of fabrics with stabilizer. And I'm going to start with my needle down at the very corner. And this is going to make a nice mitered corner so I don't have that overlap applique like we saw on the other machine. Let me bring this up. Maybe we don't get so much glare from the camera. Alrighty. So it's going to do a little bit of a taper onto the fabric. I'm going to go down and do my satin stitch again with a width of about three and a half and a stitch length of four, 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. When I get to the other end, 
I'm going to have the machine taper back down. I can turn my corner and as I come back up this side now it's going to taper back up making that nice miter corner. And now it has memorized my the length of my center section of my satin stitch and it will automatically taper down as we get to the end again. Tie off at the end. We'll continue on around. It'll taper down. Tie off. And one more. And so you'll see here, we've got this nice little mitered corner. We don't have the overlap like we had with the other machine. So I challenge you to give this a try. It works with a number of different decorative stitches that you might like to use for your applique stitching. This is Gina and this has been your Kingdom Sewing Minute Clinic.